What is going on with your people? It is your boy, oh, Judge oh. Georgia, and we are back. Bro, let's let's not bark right now, all right? Please. We, we not gonna let the haters stop us from our dream, all right? We gonna continue with the video. We just gonna block him out, all right? So the shoes that we're gonna be reviewing today and covering are the Spartan Green Ducks. This is a pair that I was pretty hesitant about at first. But once I seen my friend get them, seen them in person, I was like, bro, I have to cop. This is a pair that is just beautiful. I mean, the quality of it is just extra for a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? This is just a very, very good shoe, y'all. So the retail value for this shoe just comes in at a hundred dollars right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not focusing like I want to, so just take my word for it. The shoe is a hundred dollars, you know what I mean? This is just the basic Nike box, but honestly, we could care less about the box because all we care about is what is that shoe looking like. And the shoe is absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring out both shoes for you all so you guys can see them. I mean, this shoe is just an excellent shoe that you can color coordinate with a lot of different outfits out there. And I'm just a huge fan. Nike did a very good job with this shoe. I'm not gonna be that type of guy just to tell you about, oh my gosh, this is the, the type of leather or the, you know what I mean? I'm here about if, if the shoe is looking good, if the quality is looking excellent, and how is it fitting? That's that's all I need to know, you know what I mean? So the sizing for this shoe, I like to fit a lot of my shoes kind of snug. So I got these in a 10.5. So if you aren't familiar with what your size may be for dunks, go to a local van store, wherever you're wearing in that van, you want to get that in the dunks. So my vans, I like to have it pretty snug to where I'm able to just get it on and get it off. You know what I mean? I'm tying it, but I'm not choking my feet. Let's not be out here choking our feet, y'all. That's 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 a crime to the shoe. Don't be that person. So you want something smooth, snug, but still not too tight. One thing I forgot, I want to make sure I don't miss is to talk about the comfort level of the shoe. These dunks are very flat footed, so don't expect no supernatural, you know what I mean? Cloudy, 350 easy type of comfort level. You're gonna get the flat footed skater, you know, pair of bands, like I said, with the size comparison type of feel to it. You know what I mean? So if you're looking to walk around all day in these shoes, put some insoles in there, be prepared because the shoes comfort level, I would give it a six compared to an easy 350. I'm, I mean, it's not like, the shoe is unbearable, but it is a flat footed shoe. So when it comes to comfort level, it only gets so well when it comes to a shoe like that. The quality of the shoe. I'm definitely having to give this shoe a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna be wearing this shoe a lot. It's gonna be in the rotation because it's, it's. I'm just a huge fan, you guys. Nike has done an excellent job. This is, I would say, top three dunk for me. Number one would have to be the UNC pair, and then coming that second would have to be that Michigan pair. That pair really shocked me, but man, it was it was a hit for me, you know what I mean? But this one is, I'm feeling it, I'm loving it. Throwing on with a different outfit, the sizing, it is what it is, I already told y'all. Now we're to purchase the shoe. You can purchase this shoe within stock eggs, Go eBay now, SneakerCon. There's lots of different outlets. You want to make sure that you're not getting scams. So you want to make sure you go through the outlets that I mentioned or a Facebook group if you have somebody that can come with you that knows the sneaker because there are a lot of reps out there and you want to make sure to be careful of them. Reps, honestly, aren't bad. I'm not going to say like I'm totally against it because I understand it with the bots, the back enduring, all the other stuff that comes into play. But thing that I do have an issue with is when people try to sell reps. So you want to make sure that you protect yourself. If you're not looking to buy a rep, I would excuse me, I would not go the rep route only because the shoe resale value is 300 and that's around the price that a lot of shoes, a lot of J's are coming out at. So just go ahead and pay that hundred extra dollars. Don't buy a rep if you honestly get pay that 300. 300 is not a lot. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot. You guys, I know if you're really hungry and you're really desiring of the shoe, you're gonna grow and make that money so that you're able to buy the shoe. Don't buy the rep, get the real thing. 
Now, if the shoe is a thousand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, I understand. I understand you're going the rep out. But for a shoe like this with a resale value is three hundred, man, make your money, make your cheese, because the shoe is gonna be that more valuable to you because you actually work for it and you made it and you got something that's 100% authentic. Now the options of getting this shoe when it comes to retail and when the shoe is released, honestly, go to your local shoe store, talk to the manager, bro. You'll be surprised how many managers out there are back going like crazy. It's a thing now, it's, it's, it's a reality for us, you know what I mean? Part of the reason why the rep game is going up so much. So go to your local shoe store, talk to whoever the manager is or wherever the cool person is in the store. See if you get some backdoor action, throw them a dub, 20, you know what I mean? Whatever it may be on the side, secure your pair so you're paying 120, 140, you know what I mean? Rather than that 300 value. I don't want to be that person to say it, but I mean, it has to be said for those that don't want to pay that value because it just is a reality right now. You know what I mean? I got to keep it real. So take my advice for the options for that option. And then also JD is a good option as well. Within the app, you guys want to be trying on there as well. JD is a good spot. Finish line, Foot Locker, Champs, She, all the various outlets out there. Try. It does not hurt to try, you guys. You know what I mean? You may get lucky. So I'll be leaving a link to all the spots that you can purchase this shoe at below. Leave a comment below of any other shoes you would like me to, to do a review over. I'll be making sure to make that happen for you all. This completes another review by your boy, Judge Georgian, and I'll catch y'all later.